Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can install Android ADB on your Windows computer so that you can communicate with your Android mobile device. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to this website here, developer.android.com, and you want to download the latest version. If you are using Windows, then you choose Windows. If you are using Mac, you choose the one for the Mac or Linux. But in this case, we're going to do a Windows version. So I'm going to click on the download button and then just click on the I have free blah, 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 and click on the download Android SDK platform tools for Windows. OK, once it's finished downloading, you need to unzip it. So I'm going to click on open when done. And then now we've got the platform tools right here you can click on it to open now at the moment it is placed within the downloads folder so I'm going to change it to a different path to make it easy so I'm going to cut and I'm going to go into C drive and I'm going to put it in C drive just to make it easy as a demo you can place it wherever you want so we've got there plat uh, platform tools okay after you have extracted the platform tools folder you want to go to your Android mobile device and in here I'm going to swipe down at the top and tap on settings and then you go all the way down and you tap on about phone then you tap on software information and you tap on the build number seven times to activate developer options one two three four five six seven so once developer mod has been enabled you want to go back in here and you want to go down in settings go down and tap on developer options and we want to go down and enable usb debugging so enable usb debugging and then tap on ok now usb debugging is enabled and also make sure that you are connecting to your computer with a usb cable okay on your windows you want to open up the command prompt so cmd command prompt and you want to navigate to your c drive platform tools or wherever you have installed your platform tools folder in this path you want to type in adb devices and press on enter and at the moment it say unauthorized that is because you need to allow access on your device so on your Android mobile device, you want to tap on allowed. If this message uh, message does not show up, you want to disconnect the USB cable and reconnect it. And then this message will appear. Then tap on allowed. Now we go back to the computer. So we go back to the computer and try it again. And you can see it will show list of devices attached. And this is the name of the device. And that's it. So that's how you can install your Android ADB uh, on your Windows computer and how you can communicate with your Android phone. Now from here, you can issue commands to delete packages uh, such as a Facebook app. You can uh, delete it because on the Samsung Galaxy S10, uh, you cannot delete Facebook. You can only disable it. But by using ADB, you can actually remove the Facebook package from your mobile device. And that's it guys, thank you for watching this video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.